of her training. We gotta deal with an issue here, and that is worry about storms. Now, it was funny, good boy, Harry, it was funny because Pauline just said to me, he's afraid of storms. Immediately she had backed her chair up and began petting Harry in a way to comfort him. Well, if Harry wants to be petted, and for the most part he isn't petted, and he starts to act up when the storm comes, and that gets Pauline to come when she's called, he is going to do it every time. Now, by... <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> I just hate that swinging. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, what does Harry want when he's worried? What does he want? Okay. He wants a connection. Because it's only when he's connected to you by petting or you holding him that he feels safe, right? Now, if we took a child and every time the child was the least bit worried, we held that child to us and comforted them, how would they ever learn to deal with anything? They never would. And yet we expect a different result from our dog. No, it doesn't happen. Now, there's a lot of gadgety things that people, you can go spend, you know, X number of dollars to buy a shirt to go on them and, and all the stuff. What's always been funny to me is, I've been doing this for a long time, using weight and pressure. What do you think the shirts are? They're weight and pressure. But somehow that's not cruel, and I am. Oh well. All right, my boy Harry. Now Harry has two cucumbers on. They're pretty heavy for him, about a pound a piece. What has Harry chosen to do? Lie down. Good boy, Harry. Good, easy. Now the cucumbers work the same way you would work with a child. So we're gonna move in here, um, Stephen, so you can hear. Dale's my little kid. that's afraid to go down the basement stairs. So if I said, you're okay, honey, come on, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, honey. Oh, no, you wouldn't get up. You don't want to go down the basement stairs. You're afraid. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now I can plead and beg and coax and bribe all I want to. She ain't going down there. That furnace down there is the scariest thing there is. She ain't going down there. How would I get her down there? I can't drag her down the stairs. I could carry her. Then we both fall down the stairs. Yeah. Or I can say, you are fine. You're fine. I can put a little pressure on her. The cucumber around the neck is pressure. It's just exactly as if I squeezed her arm gently and reassured her she's okay. Alright. Now, if you woke up in the middle of the night, little Dale, and you had a bad dream, what would be the first thing you did? 
when it feels so much easier down here. And this prevents us from having to correct the dog and constantly be running over there trying to help him. You've got to teach this dog, good boy Harry. People don't give it a chance. They want immediate results. They don't have any patience. They want the dog fixed right now. It didn't work. I've been doing it for five minutes. The longer he wears that, the calmer he will be. Because when your head's down on the ground, all the pressure's off, isn't it? You're no longer doing this. Now, when you think of the, dog, the angle of a dog's neck, it's right behind his head. You're going to come down. So for an intense dog, a dog that's got way too much energy, a dog that's being too rough with kids or other dogs, but this is security. You're fine. Now, what's really funny about dogs and storms is that very often we're, we're the cause of the problem. What do we do when it starts to rain? We rush around, shut all our windows. So we're hurrying around, right? And the dog says, what's going on? And then there's, storm, then there's thunder, and then there's lightning. If the dog was outside, it would make perfect sense to him because it's nature. But in your home, it's a war zone. The lights are flashing, the foundation shaking, there's all the noise. You run down in the basement. What else would the dog think? The best thing you can do with this dog is go pull up the garage door, take your lawn chair out there, put him on a long line, and let him go play in the rain. I always take my dogs for walks. I walk down to the barn, I stand underneath. <laughs> they run around. They mind sleep through the thunder. But you have to show them, just like everything else, that you're not afraid. You're fine. I don't care if he pants. He wants to pant. That's drama. He's not shaking. He no, like he no, no. He'll quit that too, and then I'm going to praise that. That's not offensive, is it, Dale? <laughs> Dale could actually use one of them really bad. I, I actually have one that's like an aromatic pillow and it's real heavy. Yep. You can heat it up and then yep. let <laughs> Yep. But that's exactly why it relaxes you. Yes. I mean, the, the aroma is connected to the feeling, so automatically that aroma associates itself with that feeling. This one smells a little doggy. Well, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Well, around here, you know how it is. <laughs> so anyway, when we're dealing with oh, dogs, -dogs. And storms and anything like that, you need to park them and leave them, not go to them. Not sit by them. dog. But you can't coddle the dog any more than you can coddle a child 
Now, if it's a legitimate fear, okay, that's one thing. But if it's a matter of, <laughs> oh, get over it. That makes sense to everybody? Good boy, Harry. Look at that. He wants a connection so badly. Just having that little bit of connection. It's not tight. Good boy. Oh, what a guy. Good job, Harry. You're fine. You're fine. Sit. Good boy. You're fine. You're fine. Good job. You're fine. Good boy. Oh, what a guy. Good boy. Good boy, Harry. See, that rug is security. But you got to use it that way. You can't save him. Good boy, Harry. This is a conditioning that must happen over a period of time. So I am serious when I say one of the best ways to get a dog over the storms is to go out for a little short walk, even if it's just around one, out one door and in the other. Let the dog see you're not afraid. Good boy, Harry. Eventually, you'd be able to take off one of those two palmers and you'd be able to eliminate this line. But this dog, he's not a puppy. That one Q Palmer, oh yeah, I remember what that is. It's got that aroma tattoo, right there? Oh yeah. <laughs> you give it to a dog that's perfume. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs>